No one can know about this, understood? McDonald's may serve almost 70 million people around the world each day, but how many of them have heard about these 15 things McDonald's doesn't want you to know? McDonald's may be playing with time. Five second rule, right? You know all those beeps and buzzers you hear while standing in line at McD's? Well, those beeps and buzzes mean something. At least they're supposed to. Do you have any idea how old your chicken nuggets could be? McDonald's promises that they don't sell any chicken that's been cooked after it's been left out for around 30 minutes. And yet, back in 2012, it was discovered that one McDonald's location in Beijing would continue serving their chicken wings for up to 90 minutes after they'd been cooked. How dare you! And it isn't only the chicken that could be bad, either. McDonald's employees have also taken to Reddit to reveal that this is actually a fairly common practice across multiple restaurants, and that even though employees are told to throw out any meat that has been left out after 20 minutes, what they'll often do is simply reset the timer for another hour once it's run out. This often saves employees time, but comes at the expense of both taste and safety of your meal. The original owners were run out of business. Franchise, franchise, franchise. The very first McDonald's opened its doors on May 15, 1940, under the operation of brothers Richard and Maurice McDonald. And although the restaurant would go on to be a huge success, the brothers were opposed to the idea of turning it into a major franchise. Oh, it's not for sale. And so their investment partner, Ray Kroc, who others would describe as being an aggressive businessman, bought the brothers out so that he could gain complete control over the McDonald's name and franchise. Richard and Maurice would try to continue their dreams of operating a restaurant out of their original location under the rebranded name Big M, and yet Croc couldn't even let them have that. In a move that feels as though it were ripped off from a movie villain, Croc would go on to open a McDonald's franchise location directly across the street from Richard and Maurice, and he ultimately ran the original owners out of the industry altogether. Strange discoveries in McDonald's food. Hey, there's glass in my food! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What kind of restaurant is this? There have been a surprisingly large number of completely inedible things showing up at McDonald's meals over the years. Used band-aids are surprisingly common to find amongst McDonald's french fries or sandwiches, with there being multiple incidents reported in 2005, 2007, and in 2018. One manager who worked at one of the McDonald's locations where a band-aid was reported to have been found in a college student's french fries said that, It's not like we took the fries and put a band-aid in it. It was an honest mistake. He later explained, that sometimes when an employee's hands are greasy, a Band-Aid can slip off. Ew. Ugh, gross, right guys? Other items to have been discovered in along with McDonald's items include a deep-fried chicken's head found in a box of chicken wings in the year 2000, as well as a dead rat that one-time Dallas Cowboys assistant coach Todd Haley found in a McDonald's salad that he had purchased for his wife and babysitter back in 2006. McDonald's and the Rainforest. Show is hot, huh? Global warming. Yeah. According to a 2022 report published by Reporter Brazil, the McDonald's Corporation has ties to deforestation in Brazil's Pantanal wetlands and in the Amazon rainforest, both of which play a crucial role in regulating the global climate. This deforestation is mostly connected to the amount of space required for ranches to produce the beef that goes into making every McDonald's hamburger. McDonald's has also been accused of accepting beef that's been produced from illegally cleared ranches, and although they've refused to make any comment on this accusation, it may be worth noting that this goes against the company website's claim that 99% of their beef would be sourced using deforestation-free supply chains by 2020. And as if that weren't bad enough already, cattle are also known to produce methane, meaning that McDonald's carbon footprint is more than 53 million metric tons of carbon per year. Shame on you. That's more emissions than what's produced by the entire country of Norway, and that number is only continuing to rise. Soiled towels only milkshakes. I'm just shaking. Why did they put in this? In 2007, a McDonald's customer from Orlando, Florida was able to snap a picture of an employee filling the McDonald's milkshake machine with milk that was being poured from a bucket labeled Soiled Towels Only. I think there's something wrong with this. The concerned customer sent the photograph to McDonald's corporate headquarters and received an email that read as following. The machine was cleaned that morning. They sanitized the bucket to capture milk, and after the repair work was done, they put the milk back in the machine. This was an isolated incident. Regardless, the snapshot caused 
caught the attention of not only the media, but of state inspectors as well, who were apparently able to cite the restaurant for 12 different sanitary violations during the following inspection in August of 2007. Whether this truly was an isolated incident at this one McDonald's location or not, this story is sure to make you think twice before ordering your next milkshake from the Big M. New to Babbletop? Then how about hitting that subscribe button? Thanks! Now more McD's secrets. No hair nets required. There's a hair in my coffee. Although hair nets are often required in any workplace where you'll be handling food, McDonald's policy technically does not require their employees to wear them. Why? According to their company website, their official policy requires hats to be worn and for hair to be kept either under the hat or away from the face. But when it comes to hair nets, those are only given the vague guideline of being required for hairstyles that do not fit completely under the hat. More often than not, McDonald's employers simply won't ask their kitchen staff to wear them, which may not necessarily be the most food-safe choice to make when you have a lot of people working quickly within close confines. This definitely opens your food up to all sorts of possible foreign contaminants, the most obvious of them quite simply being hair. But don't worry, considering the amount of other strange objects that have been discovered in McDonald's food over the years, hair should probably be the least of your concerns by this point. Gloves aren't required either. There, that's better. I hope I didn't put you off your appetite. According to their company website, McDonald's official policy states that any McDonald's employee handling food is supposed to wash their hands every 30 minutes. Employees who are handling money are meant to be kept on a separate team from anyone who's preparing food. And in the case where gloves are required, McDonald's is supposed to provide a system of color-coded gloves meant to keep any bare skin from coming in contact with raw ingredients. McDonald's does not require their employees to wear gloves at all times while they're in the kitchen, and according to the company's Twitter page, this is because when handling food, gloves can actually be a risk as opposed to protection. And besides, this shouldn't be a problem so long as everyone is washing their hands properly. And they are, right? Yeah! Baby. Well, it depends on the McDonald's location in terms of how seriously their staff takes this policy. Some locations are said to take the time to send each employee to wash their hands, while others are said to give their staff absolutely no training and instead leave them to wear the same hole-filled gloves all day, which sort of defeats the purpose of even wearing the gloves in the first place. Ice cream machines are rarely cleaned. I will have the mini M&M McFlurry, please. The ice cream machine from McDonald's is perhaps one of the most troublesome pieces of equipment ever invented. It almost always seems to be out of order whenever a customer asks for a McFlurry, and even when it is working, there's a pretty good chance that the ice cream that you get out of it isn't necessarily the kind of ice cream you're going to want. I'm very disappointed in you. McDonald's employees have taken to Reddit to admit that although the machine requires a pretty extensive cleaning process in order to avoid developing bacteria, this cleaning process has been described as troublesome. And so no one among the McDonald's employees are really jumping at the opportunity to do it. If any parts in the machine start to show signs of wear and tear, they seldomly get replaced. And after a while, some machines are even said to get so filthy that the inside will become all moldy and rotten. That definitely does not sound like the kind of conditions we want our delicious frozen treats to be stored in. So even if the McDonald's ice cream machine should happen to be in service for once, it may just be better to skip this dessert altogether. McCafe machines are rarely cleaned. We're just waiting for orders to come out. You have time to lean, you have time to clean. McDonald's has become famous for their McCafe coffee, with its rich, bold flavor brewed from 100% pure Arabica beans. Yet as delicious and energizing as a McD's brew may be to start your day, you may be disappointed to hear that the McCafe machine is just another piece of equipment that McDonald's employees routinely neglect. According to one employee posting to Reddit, the staff are barely trained on what they're supposed to do with it, and over time, this can accumulate into one big mess. You're not firing me. Allegedly, there was even one point where the employees in question reached into the McCafe machine and pulled out what was described as a literal fistful of black soot to show to the managers that it's not in proper condition. And yet, as of the time of the Redditor leaving this comment, nothing had been done to improve the state of the machine. Switching expiry dates. Expiration date? 
Never. Not only do you have to worry about the possibility that burgers and chicken are sitting out longer than permitted, but apparently the apple pie can be fairly suspicious as well. According to some McDonald's employees, if they ever notice that the expiry date on the apple pie has passed, then they may just opt to switch the tag with another rather than throwing the pie out altogether. <sighs> This is an especially concerning allegation, as it may just mean that McDonald's is selling food that's already gone beyond its best before date under the guise of being fresh. That being said, it may be worth noting that this one definitely is not a general practice, meaning that the issue is most likely contained to a small handful of locations, if it's even happening on a regular basis at all. McRib has no rib. One rib. One rib to go. One rib. Believe it or not, despite the misleading name, the famous McDonald's McRib doesn't actually contain any real rib meat. Liar! So what is it then? Well, the official statement from McDonald's is that the McRib is actually made primarily out of pork shoulder meat that's been carefully formed so that it looks convincingly enough like a hunk of rib meat. But that isn't even where the story ends. According to a Chicago Magazine article, a longtime professor at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln was able to uncover the McRib's staggering list of over 70 ingredients, with the meat mostly being made out of various restructured meat products. The McRib is also said to use a food additive known as azodicarbinamide, a flour bleaching agent that can also be found in yoga mats and in the making of shoes. You can order a grilled cheese. Grilled cheese is hit. It may not be on the menu, but McDonald's has all of the ingredients right there. If you ask them to prepare for you a grilled cheese sandwich, then most McDonald's employees won't ask actually have a problem with it, even if it isn't a regular item that they serve from the menu. These are often made using cheese on a grilled hamburger bun, and they're perfect as either a light snack or a vegetarian meal. Ah, very nice. McDonald's has a small number of items available on their secret menu, which refers more to the unofficial line of food that the restaurant can serve, despite not being found on the menu. Grilled Chicken Shelf Life Is it chicken? Yep. Or until they get it from smugglers. McDonald's official policy regarding grilled chicken states that it can sit under a heat lamp for as long as 60 minutes. And yet, if you listen to McDonald's employees, that's simply far too long for it to be out in the heat. Long before the 60-minute mark, McDonald's grilled chicken is already said to be dry and rubbery, which most certainly compromises the taste of your sandwich. Oh, your chicken was dry. Grilled chicken may be a great option for anyone looking to make healthier choices, but it may not be worth it if the product you're getting hardly even resembles food anymore. You have to ask for your food to be fresh. Nothing better than when they're fresh. Better. As we've already established, McDonald's food has a tendency to sit under a heat lamp for quite a while. And so if you want to make sure that you're getting fresh food every single time, all you have to do is ask. Easy peasy. This may leave you waiting an extra three to five minutes for your order to be completed, but isn't it worth it to have warm, fresh fries directly out of the fryer each and every time? Budget Big Mac. Uh, they call me Big Mac. Oh, we love McDonald's. What? If you want to get yourself a Big Mac without having to pay the full price for one, then you need to try this popular hack that McDonald's doesn't want you to know about. All you have to do is order a McDouble instead of a Big Mac. Then ask to have the mayo and ketchup replaced with lettuce and Big Mac sauce. What a wonderful idea. The replacement sauce should come completely free of charge. And when you're done, you'll have yourself a burger that comes with all the same toppings as a Big Mac, minus the middle bun, at less than half the price. How are you saying money? Looking for more? Just tap or click another video. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.